Hey, 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 yes, Jesus is Lord. Hey, this is good preaching. Thank God the word works. Talking about fighting the good fight of faith, which is the one we always win, but we got to do our part. Yesterday, I was closed and after talking about Mark chapter 4, where Jesus had talked on the word all day long, and then he said, let us pass over to the other side. Now watch this. Let us pass over to the other side. That's uh, Mark chapter 4, yeah, oh, uh, verse uh, 35. After he had taught on the power of the word, then he said, let us pass over to the other side. So it's the will of God to go to the other side. Now watch, I got to give you this. Jesus was the will of God in action and everything that he said is the word of God. Now faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. It's in red letters if you happen to have a red letter Bible. Jesus said, let us pass over to the other side. So they're not going to die. They're not going to perish. They're going to go to the other side. That was the word of God to them. Well, as they're going to the other side, it says a great storm of wind arose and the waves beat into the ship so that it was full. Now, they were overwhelmed by the natural circumstances and Jesus was asleep in the hinder part of the ship. Maybe I'll talk about that a little bit tomorrow because he was trusting in the word and trusting in his word to get them all the way to the other side. He wasn't concerned about the circumstances because he was in charge of the circumstances. Now watch this. So they came back to him and said, Master. Now watch, I'm going to read. This is verse uh, 38. And they said, Master, don't you care? We're going to die out here. Verse 36, or no, verse 38. Don't you care? Master, care is not that we perish. That's King James. In other words, the circumstances had become so great, they were so concerned, they said, we're all going to die. They're not going to die because it's the will of God to get to the other side. Watch, come on, come on. You're not going to die because it's the will of God for you to live a long life. You're not going to go bankrupt because it's the will of God that God supplies your needs according to his riches and glory and wealth and riches shall be in your house. So you go to the word, step one. You go to the word, find out what the will of God is. Some symptom of a disease comes on you like it did on me several days ago. Actually, it was Christmas morning that I felt so bad. I mean, I just wanted to just get back in the bed and cover up and cover my head up and say, y'all party without me because my body was hurting, man. I was having some symptoms that I'd had you know, seven or eight years ago, and it was bad, man. I'm talking about bad. Well, my natural mind was saying, sick, sick. You're going to have a lousy day. I mean, you know, just give up and lay down and be sick and enjoy your sickness. No, I'm not going to enjoy what's under the curse that I've been redeemed from. So now watch this. Jesus is asleep back in the back part of the boat back there because he's trusting in his words to get him to the other side. <laughs> so they said, Master, we're going to perish. Well, he gets up, watch this, and he rebukes the wind. Now, <clears throat> there's power in rebuke that most people know nothing about. First thing you got to do is know the will of God. This is the confidence that we have in him, 1 John 5, 14, that if we ask anything according to his will, and you find his will for you in his word. Now, see, I'm reading. I got my Bible here. Some people say, where does he get that stuff? Right out of the Bible. Go back to this. Jesus is the will of God. His words are the word of God. And so it's the will of God, the word of God, for them to get to the other side, not get out there and perish in that storm. So the storm wasn't sent by God. The storm was sent by the devil to keep them from, from, from fulfilling the will of God. So <clears throat> you're sick. The sickness didn't come from God to teach you something. It came from the devil to keep you from walking in divine health or fulfilling the divine will of God or demonstrating Satan's defeat. So you don't let sickness hang around. Now watch what Jesus said. So he got up and rebuked the wind. Power, power in that. So step number one, simple. Step number one, you find out what the will of God is, then you know what the will of God is and you're ready because you got the word of God, the will of God. Step number two is after you get the word of God and the will of God and you're ready, when something comes that's not from God, realize it's from the devil and you, number three, you rebuke that thing. You say, uh-uh, no, no. Sickness 
tried to come on me. I said, no, no, no. I rebuked you in the name of Jesus. I was dizzy and flushed in my face and all hot and sweaty. I said, no, no, you don't have a right on me. Jesus bore my sicknesses. He carried my diseases. And with his stripes, I am healed. If I was healed, I am healed. And he sent his word and healed me. And it says in Psalm 103 that who healeth all of thy diseases. So then I rebuked it. I got to get out of here. My time's gone. Hey, I believe I'm on satellite. I believe I own a satellite. I believe I have hundreds of millions and even trillions of dollars to buy a satellite, do whatever I want to, and preach as long whoops, excuse me, as I want to because you need to hear the word so that you can get set free. Agree with me. Don't get upset because I'm believing. Just agree with me that we can do these things. Got to go finish the subject tomorrow. Saints, be blessed. So until I'm with you tomorrow, remember all day, hey, Jesus, he's Lord. Thank God the word works.